Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 38 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. We can see in this system, we have a very thin rod. The length is 2L. And then at the center, we consider it as orange center, right, with X axis and Y axis. This rod carries a uniform distributed charge Q. The charge Q is uniformly distributed. We need to find the potential at the y-axis. See, this is how we do that. In this case, we still cut this uh, rod in infinity, small fractions, right? So this is just uh, one of the small fraction. We write it as dQ. Now, can you write down the Potentials at y component, yes. So that is uh, dQ, the charge for this small fraction, divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. r is the distance from the charge to the location. And then how can we define this r? You can see in this triangle, this is side length y, this is side length x, right? So now you can see. You can write the r as the squared x squared plus y squared. Mm -hmm. And then, how can you decide this small fraction charge dq? So we can use the charge density times the dx, right? The length of this small fraction. So the charge density uses the total charge divided by the length of this rod. Now you can input dq and r inside. Then you get a function look like this one. And this function can be simplified as this function, right? Take the constant out. You can see this x is variable. This is x. And this x, we need to do the integral from the negative L to L in the x axis. When you are done with this integral, you get the answer there. If you feel difficult to do the integral, you can check the mathematical handbook and then you can write down the equation very easily. Thank you.